G'day guys, welcome to Shit Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking. Tonight what we're doing is... Cake in a cup! Alright, so if you guys saw uh, last week's or just the previous Man Cave Tuesday, you would have saw near the end there that I gave a shot at this and it didn't work out too well. So, I have actually done one since then and I've made it work perfectly. So, I've, I went and bought some more because they're pretty bloody yummy. Now, um, what I actually first, so this is so you can take it obviously, take this if you go on camping or on a bloody motorcycle trip and you want to have a cake. I don't know why you want to have a cake, but you might want to have a cake, something sweet to eat. I don't know, you might just want to muck around. Um, the biggest problem that we always have is refrigeration. Well, as we all know, oh, not that one. Oh, that's my bloody phone. Um, milk, so you can have that long life milk. So milk's not a problem. Now, with this cake in a cup, you've got a satchel. I'll grab that out. So satchel, and all you need is 40 mils of this milk. So we're sweet, no worries. You can sit that in your bloody saddle bag or in your bag and you can be going all day in the bloody heat and not a problem. But when I went to grab some of this, and I was thinking when I had the cake, it would have been good to have like a sauce or some cream with it just would make it extra good. Couldn't believe it. They now have cream in long life. They most probably always have, I just never knew. Crazy. All right, so we'll be using that cream as well. Same deal, we can just carry all this. All right, what do we need to make this? A pot, doesn't matter what bloody pot, any pot will, any pot will do that you use when you go bloody camping. I've got this trivet. So a lot of people mentioned about using water and sitting the cup in water and boiling it that way. I haven't tried that and I reckon that would work too. But the way that I first did it was um, just using this pot, a trivet, as you can see that. Now how I made this, you can buy trivets, but I had to um, make mine. I like to make shit. So I made that out of a cake. What do they call that, May? It's a... Uh, a cake stand, we'll call it a cake stand. I've mentioned it's this before. A cooling rack, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know, $2, $4 from bloody Kmart, wherever. Um, and I just cut it out like that. Bent the pieces over. So now what happens is that goes in there like that. So basically, when that Obviously, you're going to need a cup, any type of cup, doesn't matter. Obviously, one that can be heated. And that just sits, I'll show you that there, that sits on top. So basically, that cup is not sitting directly on the bottom of the uh, pot and getting that direct heat. And that'll stop, if you put your burner on a low um, heat, it won't burn, it'll just cook bloody beautifully. So when I did it, it took me 30 minutes to fully cook that cake. I also tried using this in the microwave so I could see the difference whether it cooked up exactly the same and it did, it cooked up exactly the same except in the microwave it takes 60 seconds, on the stove it took 30 minutes. But hey, you're out, you've pulled over somewhere even for the night. Sorry guys, hang on. Alright, just turn my phone to bloody silent so it doesn't interrupt us. Now let's get this uh, stove going whatever stove, your little camp stove that you've got. Now, I, one thing that I found, um, I thought I'd use me uh, one of those Duvalakis, the little windshield, which are great when you're out and you've got wind blowing or whatever. Here in the man cave, I don't have that problem, but I just used it because I thought it might amplify that oven-y type of uh, heating up of the pot. But what I did was I covered this all the way around like that and I was using a different uh, gas bottle that doesn't have this little um, uh, stubby cooler on there. But as I was doing it, I couldn't believe how hot this gas um, bottle got. It scared the absolute shit out of me. So I had to um, take that off. So that's something to remember when you use this, make sure you only cover it around here. Don't enclose that whole can. 
um, or if you are enclosing the can, make sure you put something over it. I know these cooler things work pretty good, but uh, put something over that just so that those cans don't get too bloody hot. There's a pro tip from a dickhead. All right. So we've got all this stuff, that's how we're going to cook it. The only other thing that we're going to use is a bit of foil. And I always carry a piece of foil like that in a little, uh, little bag there. And what we'll do is put this foil and sit that over the cup. But we don't want to seal the cup um, because we want, as it's um, heating up and the, the uh, moisture's um, evaporating out, you want that to go out. You don't want to seal it because it'll just, it won't, obviously, it'll just stay wet and moist. So there you go. All right, so what we've got to do, find the biggest knife we can find, although this isn't the biggest knife. Cut open our powder, pour it in to the cup, like that. Open up one of our milks. And the instruction on the uh, packet says uh, 40 ml, so I've got a 20 ml spoon. I'll just pour some of this in here. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, that was a bit sexual. Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> cool, then all we've got to do is stir this up. I'll tell you what, it smells bloody good when you do this bit. So basically just keep stirring it till you reckon it's all mixed up and there's no dry powder in there. And of course, always lick the spoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could nearly eat that. Just like that. Alright. Grab our pot. Uh, actually. I will use one of these because these work really well. Put that on there. Stick the pot on. Put our cup in. That. And then we'll just grab our foil. Just when you put it over, just make sure that there's um, that the moisture can then come out. Cool. So basically, in about half an hour, uh, this should be done. Cool bananas. See you in half an hour. All right, guys. I just had a quick peek of this, and I reckon it's bloody well done. And it's only been 13 minutes. I think the reason why it took me half an hour is because I kept bloody looking at the thing, whereas this time I've just left it on. So, I'll lift that off, turn this off. Ah, now I'm not grabbing this bloody uh, thing again, because last time I grabbed that burnt my fingers. Put a glove on this time. Alright, so... Look at that. That is done! It's still hot. All right, so what we'll do is we'll break that open. Look at that. Can you see that? That is absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig down. Hopefully you can see that. So that's just browned. So I most probably could have done that a little bit lower on the heat. Um, but it's not burnt this time, and I'll just... Oh! Okay, it's hot. There's no burnt taste to that. Cool! So now the exciting bit... <clears throat> so I get to use me cream! Cool, so... Putting some cream in there. Oh, yeah. Loving of the cream. Jeez, I might have bloody yeah, done myself this time. Oh, look at that. Man, that is good. Yep. 
that <clears throat> that is so good. If you're gonna do this, make sure you bring the cream along. <clears throat> Makes all the difference. Sorry guys, too good buddy. Mmm. Well, there you go, guys. That was bloody uh, quicker than what I um, expected. Bloody crazy. All right. Mmm. Man. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Remember, <clears throat> keep on riding. <laughs> and if you ain't riding, keep on bloody keeping on.